sorry about that youngins, we just made a chicken run. Um, one I started yesterday. Okay, it's going to be a short one today because I've got the blind, blind man coming later on. Some time ago, I purchased from eBay the cheapest one on there, adapter, so you could fit your iPhone. Android phone, other models are available, other systems are available. Uh, fitting your iPhone to a rifle scope, spotting scope, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, it's cheap as chips, but £8.50 or something on eBay. Uh, very flimsy. Um, mounted it on the gun as soon as the camera was attached to the weight of it bearing in mind that the ring on the end here turns for adjustment um, yeah very unsatisfactory um, you get what you pay for and there's a load of, load of videos of people who've done that Load of shooting videos, looking through the scope, um, and they're like crosshairs. Instead of being like a cross, they're like that, that, that. So uh, I had to make something more substantial. Now I was lucky in that. Um, I've got two rifles. With two, three by nine, that's magnification, by 40. I uh, see a, the lens there. Okay. Um, luckily, they're both the same diameter here, which is the same as 40 mil water pipe that I made the silencer out of. And I've got about five feet left. So, this is what I finished up with. Um, right, 40 mil water pipe. I bought a push on coupler, straight coupler which is the same both ends. It has a rubber sealing ring. I cut off one end and I fitted a Jubilee clip um, that I then glued this adapter. This is the cheap Chinese thing I bought. Um, yeah, it all fits on there perfect. Um, camera on the iPhone is in one of the corners you just line that up with the hole in the middle there put it in here like so line the hole up with the lens lock it up centralize it Okay, when we pop it, um, I've put masking tape over over the scope because I don't didn't want to damage it. As I tighten the Jubilee clip up, um, yeah, that goes over there. Sits on there like so. Switch the phone on. Okay, y'all. Camera. Um. There we have it. 
focus there's no need to set the camera the scope focus at all because the um the iphone is um automatic focus there we are all right so we'll have a pop with that later some targets i mean it's all down to a price isn't it the the adapter was eight quid the thing the cradle that the phone sits in the phone was 350. oh it's only money isn't it bit of pipe bit of ingenuity um i haven't even tightened the jubilee clip up and you can see how rigid that is before it was just anyway um okay so that was successful I'll um do I need to do a video of me hitting targets something to do wasn't it I suppose if I'm going to do a video with the bloody targets, we ought to get on and do it because the weather is turning. Or should I go and make another chicken run? Yeah, I get fed up with that as well. Never mind. I don't know where the blind man's got to. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. QB78. Now, now this gun. This gun has two, two CO2 cartridges inserted in the air chamber, which is the, the big bit underneath the barrel, end to end. One goes in that way, and one goes in that way. You insert as you tighten the cap it's pierced this end the top one which releases the air into the whole of that tube well two-thirds of it because there's a valve and gubbins underneath okay um, you tighten that down Finger pressure, that's all. No need for mole grips, pliers, uh, gloves. Just tighten it with your fingers. You hear it. Psst. Okay. Turn it back a quarter of a turn. That releases air into the chamber. You then can't, because of the air pressure, unscrew or tighten this anymore. Because of the pressure, 800 pounds of it, thereabouts. When you fire the gun, the system in the valve pierces the lower cartridge. Now I don't mess about with that. I just use the top, the top CO2 cartridge. Um, not because I'm a cheapskate, but because 25 to 30 shots is enough. 
Now there are occasions when you wish for reasons of safety you've got to leave the gun unattended while you respond to an emergency on the on your range okay heaven forbid um, you need to exhaust to make make the gun totally safe when you're working on it all right uh, there is no way on these guns to exhaust that gas pressure so that you can safely unscrew I mean this won't turn until the gas pressure is gone so I drilled a hole new gun drill a hole in it uh, that doesn't faze me at all. I mean, I've, when I was working, I used to drill holes in BMWs to fit aerials, light bars, whatever. Brand new BMWs, Lexus, Fords, Vauxhalls, Protons. cream of the motoring world all right new car drill a hole in it fit something in there right where'd you drill it oh here i do don't scratch the paintwork just you know not a problem okay so here Just by the boat there is the hole that I drilled. Stick a screwdriver in there, give it a twist. That's it, the pressure's gone. So then you can unscrew. It was very low on pressure anyway, hence just a. Normally it's a. So you can unscrew that and drop your CO2s out. They're on the floor. Couldn't catch A, could I? Any A, there it is. I forgot to mention that the bolt has to be in the fire position to enable you to access the valve to release the pressure basically when the gun's apart obviously 75 mils from the rear of that tube viewed from the rear this is at two o'clock. If I was left-handed, I would have done it at ten o'clock. Viewed from the rear of the tube. Six millimetre hole. Seventy-five millimetres. Which is perfect. Small screwdriver. In there. Give it a twist. Psh. Then you stick some more gas in it. One new in the top, one old in the bottom. your cap so 
piece of foam thread so it takes a while. Gone tight. Bolt undone before you load those. All right, gone tight. Back it a quarter of a turn. I just heard the cylinder fill up. And now that is solid. You cannot undo that. Because there's a, the seal in the tube at both ends, the rubber seal is blown out. And it sealed the tube. So there's 800 PSO pressure in there. Uh, that's it. Ready to go again. Looks ugly, doesn't it? A hole drilled in a new gun like that. The other thing about CO2, every time you fire it, the um, gets cold. And it will just fire one shot. Even if you don't put a pellet in, you just fire, let some CO gas go through the barrel. Condensation. So after every session, Give it a wipe. Bit of oil on the rag. Not immediately, just um, whenever. Before you put it away. Otherwise you'll get a fine patina on there. Is that the right word? Patina. Drew Pritchard. What's his name? No, he doesn't know. Anyway, there it is. Ready to go again. Do we do the camera mount bit? Oh, wow. I don't know where the blind man's got to. I expect he's looking at my chicken run. Oh, wow. Apparently that's a muzzle brake. There's absolutely nothing. There's absolutely nothing to sew against the gun. All it does is improve the barrel harmonics. We've been reliably informed. Now at this stage I'd normally pull my harmonica out and give you a bit of a session, but I can't find it. Just a bit of fun, isn't it? Prostrate cancer, get yourselves tested, guys. Don't piss about. 